Hi, welcome. Time for a shameless sponsorship plug. Ready? Awesome, here we go. So today, let's talk about cream whippers, okay? Cream whippers are a bartender's friend and a chef's friend. They can be used for so many great things like whipped cream and foams and uh, icings and all kinds of cool decorations. And in this case, rapid infusions. So this particular cool looking thing right here, this cream whipper is by Quick Whip. Quick Whip was nice enough to send me this beautiful thing uh, so that I can show you lovely people how to use it and maybe you'll go out and get yourself one. Okay, so this is a half liter. These are not that pricey. They go about 50, 60 bucks, and it is fantastic. I'm telling you, once you have one of these, you're gonna wonder how you never lived without one. So they even sent me all the cool attachments, like the heads for whipped cream and you know the covers and safety valves and all that cool stuff. They even sent me a canister of, ni of uh, nitrogen chargers. So thank you, Quick Whip. You guys are nice. You're awesome. So. We are gonna start by placing these quartered lemons into the cream whipper, into our quick whip. All right. Next, we're gonna add some vodka, okay? What we're doing here is we're making citron vodka because I'm going to make a lemon drop when this is all over. Fun stuff. Now, the idea behind a rapid infusion is this. You place your ingredients that you want to infuse in here, liquid, spices, whatever the case may be. Once you close it up and you add the, the gas, the gas literally pressurizes the liquid through the pores of, in this case, the lemons. And when you release, it comes back out. So you get three or four days of infusion in two hours. I mean, it is awesome. If you're a bartender, you know how cool this can be because you can literally create a brand new flavor or a special that day. You could be doing your prep, go ahead and infuse a flavor and boom, you have a special for the day. So I highly, highly, highly recommend getting one of these for your bar or for your kitchen, if whatever the case may be. So you take a charge, go ahead and put it on in the, the charge holder, screw it on in until you hear that magical, magical sound. Okay, give it a shake. I like to do two, you get a better infusion this way. Try not to drop everything and knock everything over on the, in the process. Yes. So, done. You have your two cartridges in there, give it a good shake. You have your alcohol, you have your ingredients. Put this bad boy in the fridge for a couple of hours and then take it on out when you're ready to make your cocktail. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. So it's been a couple of hours and our vodka should be ready. So first thing you wanna do is slowly start pressing down on the trigger to get this to slowly release all the gas, okay? Like so. There we go, the last little bit is gone. So yeah, once you've had your, once you have all your tools together, go ahead and strain it out into a vessel. Glass, make sure it's all out. Right. We have our vodka ready. So let's make some plots. We have our citron vodka. We have our simple syrup. And I have here some clarified lemon juice. Why is it clarified? Because I just felt like clarifying it and I want to see what the difference is in flavor. I hear it's brighter. So let's find out. Just use regular lemon juice, by the way. For those of you at home that are gonna be making this, feel free to just use fresh squeezed lemon juice. Uh, other than that, that's my main rule. Don't use any kind of substitute juice. Don't use concentrate juice. Don't use any of that stuff. Fresh lemon juice. Either you squeeze it yourself, or I endorse maybe Santa Cruz. That's a really good one. Go to Sprouts, get yourself a bottle of Santa Cruz. Just make sure that it's fresh squeezed, not concentrate. Moving on. So, we are gonna make a lemon drop. This is the way I like to make a lemon drop. People have different ways of making it. I find that this is the best way, at least in my opinion, okay? So, we are gonna go 0.75 or three quarter ounces of simple syrup. You want this drink to be sour, but with a good amount of sweetness in the back. It should taste like a lemon head, like a nice candy. Next, we're gonna do our lemon juice. Do one ounce, then do another quarter ounce. 
So one and a quarter ounce. Next we're gonna do two and a half ounces of vodka, citron vodka. Okay, so we have our cocktail ready to go. What we wanna do is we wanna ice it down, get ready for that shaking and baking. So grab yourself a nice cube of ice. When you have a nice cube of ice like that, you don't really need the, you don't need more than that. It's just one cocktail. We have a nice chilled martini glass here. So, let it crescendo to the top, let it finish. Some of you might be asking why there's no rim of sugar on the rim, because it's not necessary. When the drink is made to the right amounts, perfectly sweet, perfectly sour, there's no need to mess up the flavor with a sticky rim that's gonna run and make the drink just, it's gonna mess things up, make it sticky all over your hands. It's just, this is a, not a way to do things. <laughs> so, you want a nice garnish for your cocktail, take a lemon and a channel knife, Give it a nice little squeeze, I mean a nice little uh, shave there. Want to do it over the cocktail so that the oils spray over the surface. Give it a nice little twist. And there you have it. A lemon drop with clarified lemon juice. You could use regular lemon juice, that's fine. Made with love with home infused citron vodka using the quick whip cream whipper. So, go out there, check out the link below in the description so you can just click and purchase. And please like and subscribe for future content and so that we can have more fun in the future, okay? See you soon, cheers.